las aves son animales vertebrados. Birds are vertebrate animals that are born through eggs, whose bodies are covered in feathers, and whose frontal extremities have turned into wings. In this program, we will show some of the larger bird species, among them several birds of prey, hunting birds with strong beaks and powerful claws, with which they catch and dismember their prey. Cassowary. Here is one of the most dangerous bird species in existence, also in danger of extinction. They are large, flightless birds that live in the tropical jungles, forests, and swamps of Australia. Cassowaries are unpredictable, aggressive, and are equipped with large claws. Their kicks are capable of breaking bones, and their claws have been compared to knives. They are solitary and underappreciated birds that live in the tropical rainforest, where they feed on fallen fruit, mushrooms, and small animals. Their black plumage is composed of rough feathers, some of which have hair-like filaments at the tips. The neck is blue and red. They have a large protuberance on the top of their head, called a cask. It is thought to provide the animal with protection as it runs through the dense vegetation in its habitat. Cassowaries are very violent and dangerous birds. And in the wild, they can inflict serious injuries by jumping and striking with their strong, powerful legs. Ostrich. They are the largest living birds. They can be flighty and sometimes dangerous. They can reach a height of over nine feet and weigh 350 pounds. They can run much faster than humans at a constant rate of 30 miles per hour for 10 miles straight. Just like the cassowary, they have strong legs. They can kill a human with their kick or sharp claws. The males are polygamous and move from place to place accompanied by three or four females, or in groups of four to five males with their mates and offspring. The females lay their yellowish eggs in clusters at the same time. Each egg weighs approximately 1.4 kilograms and has a volume of nearly 1.4 liters. The male incubates them at night while the female incubates during the day. Emu. The emu, also a sprinting bird, is a species so large it can't fly. Unlike the ostrich, it is native to Australia. They are characterized by laying dark green eggs, while ostrich eggs are also large but white in color. Emu eggs are obviously smaller than ostrich eggs. One characteristic is that their beak is pointier and they can peck us when we feed them. Their eyes are very large as well and orange in color. Many people look at them and comment that their feathers look like hair, but they are feathers with very long barbs, which makes them resemble hair. These birds, just like ostriches, defend themselves by kicking. They run to defend themselves from predators. They run very fast and can reach a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. In their case, the males help to incubate the eggs. That's a trait that they share with all or nearly all of the flightless species. This animal has very little zootechnical potential, and unlike ostriches, they are not raised as livestock. They can, however, be held in captivity by zoos. Flamingos. Pink flamingos are birds that live in Colombia in the province of Guajina. They are easily recognizable because of their distinctive pink or reddish color. But these birds are not always red. When they are born, they are gray in color. Unfortunately, these birds are also trafficked as pets and they are often sold in the black market. Birds living in farms would be lighter in color or a shade of gray. Why does this happen? It's because of their diet. Their pigmentation depends on what they feed on. 
They normally feed on a type of crab that is very rich in beta-carotene, which gives them a reddish tint. In this case, we have 22 specimens of pink flamingos. There is no discernible difference between males and females. They look exactly the same. The only way to tell them apart here in the zoo is because of a ring tag. That ring goes on the right leg for males and on the left for females. Pink flamingos have interdigital membranes. What does that mean? That here, in between their toes, they have a membrane they use to swim, just like ducks. They spend the greater part of their days feeding, grooming, and resting. When they groom, they spread throughout their body a natural oil secreted by a gland at the base of the tail. This oil coats their plumage, protecting it with a waterproof coating. Flamingos are an oddly gregarious species throughout the entire year, and they need mass gatherings to preserve their normal life cycle. Their beak has an unusual shape, since it also acts as a filter with which it can separate food from mud and silt. Harpy Eagle a bird of prey, or a raptor, is a bird that hunts prey for food, using its beak and its sharpened claws. Their beaks and claws tend to be relatively large, powerful, and adapted to shred and or rip through flesh. The fundamental characteristic of these birds of prey is their hooked beak, with which they can shred flesh, and their curved claws. Among them, we have the harpy eagle, which is the largest in Colombia. In these birds of prey, we find that the male is smaller than the female. The female is much larger. This physical difference is known as sexual dimorphism. The harpy eagle is a bird that has adapted to, to hunting sloths and monkeys. It is a very large bird. So, when a monkey is climbing up a tree, she kills him easily with her claws. Her claws are so powerful that she can bury them in the skull of the monkey and do the same for a sloth. In the park, we feed her dead meat, such as horse meat. If the animal is a carrion eater, we feed them dead but not decomposed meat. And for raptors, we try to give them live prey, such as rabbits, cooies, or quails, but only once a week. We don't feed them continuously because many animal rights groups say it's cruel for animals to die here under those conditions, so we give them dead meat. And every once in a while, we feed them live prey so that they can maintain their hunting instinct, so they can sharpen their beak with their bones, tear out feathers, etc. We raise their prey right here. We raise the rabbit and cooies that we feed them, and we buy the quails. Reproduction of birds in captivity. All birds reproduce by laying eggs. The gestation period will vary depending on the species. It takes an average of 32 days. Here, we are not reproducing the birds. We only have one male and we need more females. When we are talking about wildlife living in captivity, it's not as simple as putting a male and a female together. It's more complicated than that. We need to do research in order to ascertain the minimum requirements for the animal to breed. Animals have something we call courtship. That is how they attract their mate. So in many cases, these animals need to go through the courtship process to breed and to mount the female. And when they are in captivity, the environmental conditions are often not met. So that is why we are not trying to breed raptor birds in captivity. The black guaman, or crested eagle, is one of Colombia's largest birds. These birds can be found throughout the country and also in other places in South America, such as Venezuela, Ecuador, Brazil, and Peru. These birds hunt for prey in the same way. They use their claws to kill their prey. Small raptors kill the prey by swooping down on it. That is, while these birds will bury their claws in the skull or in the heart of the prey, the smaller ones will kill them on impact. While they are in the air, they descend in a parabola and reach speeds ranging from 120 to 180 kilometers per hour, and they will stun their prey with the speed of the impact. That is how smaller raptors hunt. Larger raptors take advantage of the strength of their claws, and they grab the skull or even the heart with their claws. 
This is one of the few black raptors that we see. It also has a plumed crest. It's a bird that lives in humid jungles, in areas with a lot of tree cover. Due to their large size, they can't fly in between trees. So what they do is to hunt animals that are on the periphery of the forest or near the top of the trees. That means it feeds primarily on primates or other large animals. Here, we feed her a daily meat portion of 200 grams and even 350 grams for the larger birds. Everything has been calculated to prevent them from getting too fat, since here, they will lead a sedentary life. And even though this is a large cage, it's small for them, and they don't get enough exercise, so they can get fat, which can cause them to get sick and die. The Kara Kara. It is a raptor that is between 55 and 50 centimeters long. The upper part of its head is black, its neck is grayish black, and its back and breast have broad gray-brown and grayish white stripes. It prefers to eat carrion, and it can be often be spotted eating animals that have been run over in the road. It is also an opportunistic hunter that attacks young and wounded animals. Its line of attack is to peck at the lips, eyes, and anus of its prey until it dies and can be eaten. Condor. These animals feed exclusively on dead animals, what we call carrion. Animals that have been dead anywhere from a day and sometimes even several months. Their digestive system is so strong that it can handle this. It has the enzymes required to digest and eat dead animals. One trait of carrion eaters is that they have no feathers on their head. They are bald. Why? Because, since their food source is dead, if they were to poke around and had feathers, they would be quickly smeared with blood, bacteria, and flies. And since they can't groom their own head, so that is why we can spot these carrion eaters, since they don't have feathers on their head, such as vultures, which we call chulos. Condors are also carrion eaters. An interesting trait is that their feces have antiseptic properties, like alcohol, and they can ingest them as well. So when they defecate a lot, they will do so on their feet to cleanse them of parasites. One way to tell the male and the female apart is that the male has a crest that hangs here above the nose. The females do not have it. Her head is very colorful. It has a black and orange color that makes this species stand out. 